It's a real pleasure to be here and uh, speak to you, especially after uh, hearing the words of an official. So I was asked by Declan to talk about the professional footballer's uh, everyday life. Uh, so I think the most uh, fitting way to do so would be uh, to tell how I'm living my, my, uh, my everyday lives, lives uh, how, how I'm going to training, and uh, just to give a sense of what it is to be a, a professional footballer here in uh, Hungary. It is a long way until you can uh, step into a first team uh, dressing room. It is a really hard way. You have to uh, train really much. You have to give up uh, things other, other children in your age can do. So you can go out with your friends. You can drink. You have to, you have to think about what you want to be uh, in 10 years. It's really difficult. And of course, uh, as a young, young man and as a child, you need 100% uh, Hundred percent supporting family, who uh, who are support, supporting you both financially and mentally, uh, because I think uh, looking at Hungary and uh, Hungarian football, we don't have uh, academies like uh, like English teams have or teams in Germany have. So it puts uh, uh, such a financial pressure on uh, on. Parents, parents' shoulders that they have to to find accom accommodation to their uh, for their children. They have to pay for the equipment and everything, uh, buy shoes and everything for their children. So, in the last uh, couple of years, something has changed in Hungary as well because uh, three or four clubs uh, started to to raise funds uh, and uh, invest. Uh, Invest in in their uh, in, in in children, so they started to build academies, and I think it's it's a really good thing, uh, and th that is the way uh, how how Hungarian football and food and football uh, nations like the Hungarian uh, can can uh, rise. So I'm playing first in football since I was 18. I've played for a couple of teams in Hungary, uh, but the, the the daily routine. Um, it's pretty much the same everywhere. I usually wake up at 7, 7.15 in the morning, uh, just have a good breakfast to start my day properly, and, and at 8, 8.15 I leave uh, to the training ground, where we have to be uh, normally at 9 o'clock, uh, where I have 30 to 45 minutes to prepare for the training, just to go to the gym or, or have a massage or something like this. We have a, usually we have a 90-minute uh, training session, uh, which is followed by a, a lunch together with the teammates. And uh, usually I finish with all my exercises latest by, ten, uh, by 2 p.m. So there's a lot of time in the afternoon, uh, but you have to uh, make a sense of it. So it's not possible in the long term just to sit at home and uh, watch TV or just go around and shop in shopping centers. Um, if you do so, you will find yourself uh, in the middle of nothing in a few years. So you, you have to think about what to do in your free time. Uh, I started uh, my university studies, uh, where I earned my bachelor degree uh, in international sport management. And now I'm, I'm working for my MBA degree as well. Uh, I'm usually reading a lot in the afternoons, learning uh, to complete my school studies, uh, and I also passed the referee exam uh, when I was 16, and I used to uh, used to do it for three years. But I had to make a choice, and of course, I have chosen uh, to play football. Uh, so these are just uh, a few of many activities you can do when not playing football. There are many other sports. Uh, which are really good uh, to do uh, in your free time. Many of my teammates uh, got their, their coach, uh, coaching licenses, so I think that is the way how you should uh, think about your life, your, your uh, post-football life. Uh, when talking about professional leagues and players, everybody immediately associates to money. Everybody knows uh, everything about lives of uh, of, of stars like Cristiano Ronaldo and Beckham. But not many know uh, what difficulties players can face in leagues like the Hungarian one. 
most of the, play the players don't get paid too good, uh, though they earn more than people with an average profession. Uh, just three or four clubs uh, can pay decent wa wages to their star players, but the others live from one day to the other. Uh, especially when you are thinking, uh, so it is true, especially when you are thinking about that uh, a footballer's career uh, ends with the age of 35 when he's uh, fortunate. And uh, hopefully there's a lot of time remaining after it, so you have to think about it. Another big problem is uh, the lack of insurances in my country. If a player picks up a serious injury and has to retire or has to uh, just fall, he falls out of football for six months or, or a year, uh, nobody is there to really compensate him. Um, and uh, from one day to the other, uh, from a good lifestyle, he's, he's finding himself to have nothing. So I think this is uh, uh, one of the most important issues to deal with for clubs, for the federation, and even for the government. So Hungary has a really, really bright football history, and that is why people still like, still love football in my country. Uh, people love uh, and like players, uh, they recognize them, usually. And the most important thing that I think uh, children still want to be footballers instead of sitting at home in front of their computers and uh, preparing to be a hacker or whatever. So that, that is the most important thing in my eyes. And at uh, the end of, end of my presentation, please allow me to speak a few words about match fixing, which is a great, uh, uh, a huge problem uh, in, in the world now. When you think about what I have said about player salaries, you may understand why many of the, uh, of the players accept these bribes which were offered to them. I can understand them as well. I can understand them 100%. But I will never accept this behavior. Uh, I will never accept this behavior as a teammate. And I want, want uh, to never accept this behavior as a lover of this beautiful game and as a future fan like you are now. So I hope that uh, in the future many, of other, many, many other people will stop to accept uh, it, uh, as in Hungary as well as in the, the rest of the world. Thank you for the attention.